What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Vikings. Vikings season 3 episode 2 is here today and I have to say they kicked off the season extremely, extremely well. You're doing a pretty good job, don't you think? Yes, man. So, um, Ragnar decided to help Princess Quinter take her throne um in that place that i don't remember the name of <laughs> even though they've said it so many times but y'all know what i'm talking about so i think it was a dumb move on the other's part the uncle and the brother like why were they on separate ba separate banks of the, the river or whatever is beyond me <laughs> like i'm looking at it uh, like matt why wouldn't you stick together? You get what I'm saying? Like, it just... It just didn't make sense to me. You know, it's kind of like, for plot convenience, they did that. It just kind of... Kind of seemed like such a dumb move. You know what I'm saying? Now the dude... Now the uncle is, is dead. Um, Floki killed him. And... Ragnar is just like, oh, yes. I'm wondering what's going to happen now if, you know, Quintrick going to give him some of that something, something. You know, the Ragnar just like to spread his royal oats on everybody. <laughs> you know, he's just one of those dudes. I mean, he can't stay respectful to nobody, you know. And I don't think he would do it again i really don't think he would do it again but he's just you never know what to expect with him he's very unpredictable in certain aspects of his decisions right so it, it's it's tough but they have overcome so let's see i want to know if king Edbert is going to get with lagatha and um, I wonder if Lagatha is going to to like him. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Lagatha is still in love with Ragnar. I don't, it's it's very slight, but I think it's still there. You get what I'm saying? But I think she has come to accept it. Not that she's gotten a prophecy saying that she will never have another kid. That's that's tough. That that's really tough. You know to hear. And stuff like that. Um, but we, we always got Bjorn. You know. We, we still got Bjorn. So, and he's proven to be very good on the battlefield. He doesn't hesitate. Um, his girl Perun. I think she needs to go sit her ass down somewhere. If she's really pregnant. You know what I'm saying. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying. Like I really do think that she, she can be on the battlefield. She's proven herself. That she can fight. No doubt about it. Nobody is is telling you you don't belong on the field because you're a woman and nothing like that. We all know that's not an issue in Viking culture. They respect their women regardless. You get what I'm saying? They respect their women. They don't stop women from fighting if they want to fight and stuff like that. You know, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and I love that. But if you're pregnant, you're asked do not need to be on a battlefield period if you know what i'm saying point blank period no can't do that so um yeah so we're gonna take a look at season three episode two right now um see what is the aftermath of this battle what's gonna take place if they're gonna go for the for the brother but she looks she took a nice long deep breath like like ah it's over. Is the throne mine now? <laughs> you know. So let's see how. Let's see what happened. If it's going to be a celebration, or the the brother is going to swear fealty. What is going to happen? So let's go look at that. You already know what to do. We had we want 50 likes on this. If you guys watch the episode, just hit the like button, man. You already know what it is. You know we do fire reactions over here. So let's get to it. You already know what to do, and I'll see you guys right back here for the review. All right, what's going on guys? I'm back for the review, Viking season three, episode two. 
I mean, other than the cryptic ending that we got there, um, not knowing what's going on, why is Atherton's hands bleeding? Is this all a dream? The girls back home, Siggy, Aslog, and Helga been having these dreams. Seems like, and they're all, all three of them been having the same dream. It's the same dream. And this guy shows up at the end in front of Helga with his hand bleeding and stuff like that. So I'm guessing more of that will be revealed. They also had a dream about the seer bleeding. So there's that too. It seems like the seer was cut up. There was a lot of blood. Um, Other than that, I don't know what Aether Wolf is up to. I'm still in the dark about what King Edward is up to. I don't know. I think he, I think because of that conversation, well, not conversation, but yeah, because of what him and Aether Wolf's wife, I don't remember what her name is, Aether Wolf's wife, the, the daughter-in-law, right? That little conversation they had have me kind of thinking that maybe King Edward is up to something. I don't know what it is, but hopefully we get to find out soon enough um, throughout the season or whatever the situation or what's really going on. Because there's a lot of confusing plot, for, plot points right now um, other than the war. Other than, you know, the war between Mercia and them trying to take Mercia for, for, for um, Quinthrit, whatever her name is. Okay, so got a little bit more insight into Quinthrit's character, which is always good to know more about a character. Like, you know, why does she have this insatiable taste for men? And it was revealed in this episode that she was abused by her uncle, by, by like why she hate them so much. And it also explains why she is who she is, why she can. It's like she can never be satisfied, why she feels like she needs to to be with so many men. And you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, abuse as a child, man, it can have a a serious, serious impact on you moving forward. It's just ridiculous how much it can really change somebody's life for the worse. It's not an easy thing to move on from. If you want, you know, once you get older and you find out it's abuse, it can, <laughs> it can really, 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 you know, destroy lives. Um, let's put it like that. So, Berg, what is that? What is, what's his name? Bergrid? <laughs> Bergrid needed to leave. He needed to leave. He stood no chance by staying there trying to fight or thinking that Quinthrit wasn't going to take his head too. He did the right thing by running. Um, so yeah, man, there's a lot of the, the confusing plot points that were there, you know, at the end there. And also what's really going on with Thurston? You, you know what I'm saying? Like he just decides to cut off his arm. You know, what happened? There's a lot of flashes and, stuff as i said confusing stuff hopefully ex explain in the next episode or so so we can so i can have a better understanding of what's really going on you know what i'm saying you guys might already know but i don't think i'm trying to kind of read between the lines to see if i could see anything and draw from anything and i'm i'm blanking out here <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like i have no clue what was all of that foreshadowing of stuff maybe stuff to come or are they seeing stuff that is happening on the battlefield from home? I don't know. So, you know, why did Athelstan show up with his hands bleeding? Um, was that a dream? Is that Lagatha dreaming? Who, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So I'm looking forward to, to the next, to the next episode. Of course, as I said, there's not much here to break down. Um, and to see, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think, but everything was pretty much straightforward except for the, those cryptic things that were happening in the episode. So, as I said, man, 
Um, Athelstan had a conversation with the girl, which we knew from the moment I saw her grab his hand, the way how, you know, she wanted to see the marks in his hand. Uh, as she said, she's not in love with him. He fascinates her, um, which is something that happens a lot when it, when it comes on to just relationships on a whole, like a, a, a woman will see you uh, as a man and they're just fascinated by you. They're not necessarily in love with you or, you know, infatuated um, to you or you get what I'm saying? Like a lot of times it's just fascination, like the way how you move, the way how you do things. Um, the fact, I think she's fascinated by the fact that he's kind of split between two worlds. It makes him interesting because he's like, how can you love, um, how can you love Jesus Christ and also love Odin? You know what I'm saying? So it was very interesting the conversation he was having with her because he kind of described something he, and, and, and he's like, but this happened way before Jesus did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's very hard for him. And I, I, I totally understand where he's coming. Split, being split between two worlds, two religions is a very, I don't want to say it. It's not common, but it does happen. And when it does happen, you really, really do have to question things. You know what I'm saying? You really do have to to, to, to question things because you know, you're learning that, you know, one man can't serve two masters and stuff like that. And, you know, it's all this other stuff that I don't really want to get into because it's religion stuff. And I don't want to I don't want to talk religion on this channel. I really don't because it's a very touchy subject. As I've said before, I invite anyone if you want to talk about stuff like that with me, it's better if we talk in private. If you want to know my viewpoint on anything, we can have a constructive discussion about it and we can do that on discord join a discord server private message me over there if this is something you want to discuss with me i have no qualms to discuss it with people because i'm very strong in my beliefs and you know you may be strong in your beliefs or whatever it is if it's something you want to discuss and want to know more about you know what i'm saying if you just want to know what i believe you could you could do that you know, it's no problem. As I said, I'm not going to share it here on here because I don't want people to feel like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't support that dude because he's that or he's that or whatever the situation is. Like, I want to keep things as objective as possible on the channel. And that's not me being, you know what I'm saying? That's not me being, oh, I'm put offish or oh, I'm trying to get the support of both sides or anything like that. I just don't think that when it comes on to um, religion and, and stuff like that, I don't think that you should bring your personal stuff when you're on a public medium like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just my opinion. I think that that is something that should be discussed in private. For, for me, I, as I said, it's my opinion. I just don't believe that's something I'm, because it's not, it's not going to be an open discussion. You get what I'm saying? Because it's not a live stream. If it was a live stream, we would have a whole different story because everybody can have their input and stuff like that. But not when I'm doing a review. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just me just throwing stuff at you. <laughs> so like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do that because I'm always going to remain with um, objectivity on the channel. But if you want to talk about um, stuff that, I, that you want to be subjective about, and we can have a, as I said, constructive discussion. There's always a Discord server you can join and DM me over there. We can have a discussion. Right? Sounds fair. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. What you waiting on? It's your boy Turbot Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next reaction, man. Peace.